The Mesoamerican Reef 2015 report card results. The Mesoamerican Reef is a large and diverse ecoregion spanning four countries, including tropical forests, coastal plains, lagoons, estuaries, mangroves, seagrass bed, and at its heart, about 1,400 square kilometers of coral reefs. This reef provides food, coastal protection, and livelihoods to more than a million people. But like all reefs worldwide, it is threatened by global climate change, overfishing, and pollution. The Healthy Reefs Initiative has been working to better understand and improve the health of the Mesoamerican Reef for the last 10 years. We have forged a unique and strong alliance of over 60 organizations each is working in their own way to safeguard this reef, while at the same time joining forces through the Healthy Reefs Initiative to evaluate the health of the reef and measure our collective success in managing it. And now, the 2015 Mesoamerican Reef report card results are in. The reef is showing several signs of improvement based on our key indicators of living coral, fleshy macroalgae, herbivorous fish, and key commercial fish. These indicators are evaluated and combined into one concise reef health index. It's the Dow Jones of Reef Street. This year's index score is 2.8 out of 5, indicating fair health status, with basic structural and functional elements intact. The only indicator in poor condition is fleshy macroalgae, which has almost doubled since our first report card eight years ago. But in this time span, our corals have also grown from covering 10% to 16% of the seabed. Our team and partners studied 248 reef sites across the region, both inside and outside the 45 marine protected areas. And this is what we found. Only one site is ranked as very good in Utila, Honduras. Another 8% of sites are in good condition with many of them in the Bay Islands, but others scattered throughout the Mesoamerican Reef. These sites are healthy and are helping to replenish populations elsewhere. 34% of sites are in fair condition. This is encouraging because it has increased 7% over our last report, but the largest group, 40%, are still in poor condition. These reefs are threatened. Lastly, there are also 17% in critical condition. These reefs may not be able to recover if they persist in this state. But the good news is that this number has decreased by 7% since our last report, and we are working to continue this trend. In the Mesoamerican Reef, we are leading the way in the protection of parrotfish. Since the 2004 ban on all spearfishing and trap fishing throughout the Bay Islands, Honduras and the 2009 complete protection of parrotfish in Belize, these efforts are now paying off in terms of more and larger parrotfish. 95% of our 149 sites surveyed have parrotfish of more than 20 centimeters. Overall, 15,837 parrotfish were counted and 22% of them were large. Now all they need to do is eat that more of that macroalgae. Not all fish are doing so well. Groupers in particular are easily overfished. Large groupers over 40 centimeters long are particularly scarce. Overall, only 4% of the 700 groupers counted were large. So what can we do to improve grouper abundance? Marine protected areas is the answer. There are 45 marine protected areas throughout the region covering 22,000 square kilometers, but only 1,600 square kilometers are really protected from fishing. We need to get serious about increasing that number. MPAs are also incredibly valuable for marine tourism, biodiversity, conservation, education, and research. They give communities a greater say in how their resources are managed so that they can sustain their livelihoods. They are a sound investment today that enables continuation of fishing tomorrow. Reefs can't run away from danger. They have to tough it out. This report card demonstrates the Mesoamerican reef's toughness and its resiliency to a variety of global, regional, and local threats. While many reefs around the world are crashing, we are celebrating some of the positive results of our management actions, while at the same time, we're keeping an eye on some of the strategies that may not be working so we can change them. That is adaptive management, and the 65 partner organizations in the Healthy Reefs Initiative are doing it. Together, we will save this meso-amazing reef.